San Jose now hosting its first ever Latin House Music Festival this weekend. Ooh, sounds like fun. Yeah. The festival takes over Discovery Meadow in the downtown area. Crop Wars will Tran live for us in San Jose right now with a preview. Good morning, Will. The venue is going to have to be large because they expect thousands of people to be in attendance. And here it is, Discovery Meadow. Look how big the lawn is because they expect at least 5,000 people, maybe even more, to come to downtown San Jose to have a big party. And we're a little bit older. I'm speaking of myself and my camerawoman, Yolia Seves. The timing could not be any better because it will take place in the afternoon because we all know if you're north of say 35 years old don't invite me to anything past eight o'clock at night for this it begins at two o'clock tomorrow afternoon and goes all the way until nine o'clock so you could be in bed maybe about 10 o'clock perfect timing the san jose police department they're not adding extra resources down here they expect things to be safe but of course if anything should happen they will pounce all over it they chose downtown san jose because they say this area is in desperate need of good entertainment. Sure, they could have had it anywhere in the Bay Area, but they have a hot market that's untapped, and they want people to come down here for a Latin rave party. We got a chance to talk to the DJ. If you're thinking about coming down, here's what you can expect. This is like a out of this world like experience and opportunity for me. We're more known for like the underground scene, like clubs and stuff like that. You can expect a whole lot of diversity when it comes to the music. So for us to see a festival at this scale, like it's pretty, it's pretty exciting. And it has the support of a lot of people in San Jose because obviously it brings attention to San Jose, not to mention a lot of money as far as business dollars to all of the venues down at this location. There's public transportation down here as well. They hope it's if it's so successful, they will continue coming back. Little correction, I stand corrected. A little bit earlier, I said that it would begin at 10 o'clock. That's a whole different festival as far as this party here. This actually starts tomorrow at 2 p.m. And I saw the timing, James, 2 to 9 p.m. Could not be more perfect because anything past, say, 10 o'clock, we've got issues. <laughs> Back to you. It passed our bedtimes for sure. Thank you very much, Will. Yeah, very, uh, sounds like